Hey there, Sagittarius. Good afternoon and welcome to your October tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. It's great to be here and great to connect with you and have the chance to share your October tarot reading with you. So Sagittarius, whether your sun sign is Sagittarius or your moon or rising is Sagittarius, maybe you're just checking up on a Sagittarius, or you may be just intuitively guided to be here on this channel. Uh, Sagittarius, if you're about being able to experience more joy and happiness and to manifest more love and abundance in your life, you're at the right place at, here at uh, Love and Abundance Tarot. As, as a tarot reader, I'm all about, I put the intention and the intuition energies into the reading to create and manifest more joy and happiness, more love and abundance. So we're always going the right direction for you. So. By the way, today is Friday. We love Fridays. It's uh, September the 18th. It's about 12 noon my time. Uh, Sagittarius energy, you're very optimistic, right? These are, these are some of the characteristics that are commonly found with Sagittarius energy. So you're optimistic, straightforward, intellectual, large-hearted, adventurous. Sagittarians love adventure. Uh, you could be a little bit careless at times, a little bit tactless, impatient, superficial overconfident right we have we have these positive uh characteristics and then we have limiting characteristics that follow each of the zodiac signs so that kind of outlines that what's commonly seen with the sagittarius sign uh sagittarius you were located and found in the ninth house ninth house is expansion and beliefs this house is about expanding your mind your horizon your knowledge and your belief system. It's religion, philosophy, travel, adventure, law, and the learning we do because we want to. And Sagittarius, you were ruled by the planet of Jupiter. Okay, so that's just some good general information that I like to share about Sagittarius. Uh, but we're gonna do a great thing for you today, Sagittarius. I'm gonna give you two readings. The first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm getting ready to start in just a minute here, so I'm gonna provide you your astrological forecast for the month of October. So we're gonna look at the month of October, right? We have movements on the planets that take place for Sagittarius in specific houses of yours. And these houses represent different energies for you. Uh, so when, so depending on the planet that moves into the house, it, it causes a different kind of energy. So we're gonna outline that for you for the month of October. And I'm gonna point out some key dates where you're gonna have some movements of the planets in certain houses for you. So that's going to be the first thing that we do, and then I'm going to, we're going to, it's going to give us a big picture view energetically of what's taking place for you, and then we're going to hone in and we're going to do a tarot reading where we're going to be able to see more specifically for many of you how these energies manifest for you in the month of October to give you a heads up, right, to prepare you so that, so that you're equipped stepping into the month, you understand the energies that are ahead of you, and you can maximize uh, these energies, use them to your advantage. Okay, Sagittarius. So this will apply whether your sun sign is Sagittarius, your moon, or your rising. But I need to emphasize there's an emphasis on the rising sign energy with the astrological reading. Uh, keep in mind this reading will not be for every Sagittarius. So if you find that the energies aren't resonating, I mean, stick it out, right? We're, we're creating nothing but compassion and unconditional love here. Uh, but if you'd like, you know, check the tarot readings for your moon or rising signs. Sagittarius, you may find at any given time those energies may resonate stronger with you. Okay, let's get started. All right, Sagittarius, so October overall, you probably heard a lot of astrologists talking out there. October is a big month, right? A big month astrologically. Uh, October is going to be a very intense month for all of the zodiacs. Uh, so for you, Sagittarius, to begin with, on the first of the month, we have a full moon joining Mars in your fifth house. This light of the moon causing you to see something in your life in a new light. Uh, a time for changes. The fifth house is about joy and laughter. By bringing creative joy to others, you bring it to yourself. So Sagittarius, at the beginning of October, right, you may be thinking about your life, like what, what kind of changes can I make in my life to bring more joy, right? To bring more of that childlike enthusiasm and happiness. On the third, we have Venus coming into your 10th house. This energy shines a light on your career, your work. Ask yourself, am I doing what I love? And how can I make changes to create what I love? If you don't have a career, how can I bring more love to myself, more love to the world? So be mindful of these energies. On the 14th, we have Mercury going retrograde in your 12th house. This takes place until the 4th of November. Be sure to back up your hard drive before then, right? Because when Mercury goes retrograde, 
it, sometimes it can mess with the electronics a little bit. I've noticed that with my readings. Uh, and it's kind of strange how things happen. They just phantom fade out, disappear. So back up your hard drive. Uh, this is a great time to complete things you may have already started. You may find something you may have lost or misplaced. Somebody from your past may return, or you may find yourself thinking about this person from the past. On the 16th of the month, we have a new moon happening in your 11th house. This energy brings you new beginnings and friendships. You may be expanding your soul circle within with like-minded individuals. So a great time around the 16th, the middle of the month, to reach out and to connect with others. Uh, a great time socially for you. So be mindful of that, Sagittarius. Again, right? These are energies that are showing up in our lives. So we, so we, if we're aware of them, we can ride the energetic wave and take advantage of the energies. Right? Use them to your advantage. All right, Sagittarius, on the 23rd of the month, the sun joins Mercury in your 12th house. This is a great time to ask yourself, what things in my life do I need to release? How can I create more space in my life, right? Because a lot of times we have so many things going on in our life that we can feel a little bit claustrophobic, right? There's just no, no room to move around. So with the activity in your 12th house, it's going to cause you to think about ways that you can maybe make space in your life. Then on the 31st, the last day of the month, we have a full moon that joins Uranus in your sixth house. This is a good time to think about your health and to make positive changes, whether those changes regard diet, exercise, maybe you need to take time to focus on balancing mind, body, and spirit and integrate some meditation into your, into your physical activities. Uh, balance, mind, body, and spirit. This energy also shines a light on your work and career. Should you consider making some positive changes, right? So this energy is going to cause you to be mindful of that, Sagittarius. All right, so there's your astrological forecast for the month of October. Now let's have some fun. Now let's do your tarot reading. Uh, first thing that I want to do is I'm going to pull an affirmation energy for you to take us into your reading. And I'm pulling this from my Power of Love deck. I pre-shuffled my decks, but I always like to just give them one more shuffle. Okay, Sagittarius, beautiful. So the energy taking us into your tarot reading today comes to us by way of individuality, recognizing your, individu your individuality recognizing Sagittarius that you're unique, right? You are one of eight billion in the world, which makes you pretty special. All right, you, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything that you do, all connected to your individuality. Okay, Sagittarius, let's pull some tarot cards down. Uh, first thing that I want to do is I'm going to pull an energy to see what the central theme and energy is for your reading for the month of October. So it's going to serve as a pretty important energy for you in the month. All right, Sagittarius, wow. Here we begin with love, right? So here we have connection. This is equivalent to uh, the lover's card. So this is representing Gemini's energy, right? Some of you may be connected to a Gemini, have a Gemini in your life playing a pretty significant role, right? But this is about, this is about a connection. This is about two people that, that rely upon one another, right? They're holding hands, but they're both leaning backwards. You know, they're counterbalancing one another. You can see this couple, right? They've done work. You've worked on the relationship, the dynamic of this relationship, because we see it here in the center with the growth that's that's growing between these two. It's like they love each other. They rely upon one another. Uh, whether this is romantic for some of you, and I feel like it will be, uh, but it doesn't have to be, right? This can this can be about a friendship. Um, this can be about a family relationship too. Of it's more about the energy of love and connection. It can also be a work energy, a connection at work. Keep in mind, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Okay, Sagittarius. Now, building across the top row, we come out with Just Breathe. So this is equivalent to the Four of Swords. Um, 
you know, just a few minutes ago when I was giving you your astrological reading, or I was talking about balancing your energy, right? Balancing your energy of mind, body, and spirit, really taking care of yourself. Uh, it's those energies astrologically that are taking place in your sixth house. All right, so showing up here in your tarot reading. Okay, coming in right next to that, we have the heart chakra, right? located right here at our heart center. Uh, very, very powerful chakra. Interesting. It's, you know, it, it represents the energy of the things that we love, right? And it's interesting because the heart chakra is coming in right above uh, this lover's card. So they're touching each other. There's a connection. Okay, seek. I'm not surprised to see this energy coming out for you, Sagittarius. The number nine, powerful number. Uh, here we see Virgo's energy, right? So some of you may be connected to a Virgo. Uh, so building across the top row, you know, what is this about? It's about taking care of your heart, you know, um, taking, t taking care of yourself, right? physically balancing mind, body, and spirit. You know, I mentioned meditation, right? And I normally don't do that, but I felt kind of compelled to mention the meditation. And I feel like it's here it is showing up for you, Sagittarius, right? So some of you, you know, in the month of October, taking some time to really meditate. Uh, keep in mind, Sagittarius, planetarily, you have all kinds of activity that's taking place in your upper houses, right? In the 10th, 11th, and 12th houses. So not surprised to see meditation coming out here. Okay, coming in next, we have refusing to see. So refusing to see coming in right next to the lover's card, just underneath, just breathe. This is equivalent to the two of swords, right? So this is about this is about making a choice, making a decision. Um, if you look at the figure on this card, right, he's wearing his helmet. And I see this little emblem right here, right, right above his mind's eye. So, you know, the, 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 the helmet could be blocking his intuition, right? And maybe that's why he's unable, you know, he's refusing to see, right? Because maybe your intuition could be being blocked. You know, and you're wearing a helmet, you know, we wear helmets when we go into battle and such. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Okay, Sagittarius, coming in next, we have Blossom, right? Beautiful energy. This is about uh, judgment card, right? Letting go of, letting go of judgments, letting go of past hurts, past pains. I mean, truly what it's about is letting go of, of any of those limiting energies that we have within us that are holding us up, right? This is about releasing those energies and we're, be, we're building, we're feeding upon the positive energies, right? Here she has this positive energy ball that's in front of her. And you can see she's moving her hands around, so, right? So this positive energy, it's building and growing as she's letting go of any judgments, any opinions that she may have. Beautiful energy. And that's, again, that's coming in right underneath Seek. Um, you know, so I feel like it's connected to meditation. You're, you know, taking that time out. And on meditation, if you've never meditated, don't worry about stepping into it. Am I doing it right or am I doing it wrong? It's you with your intention of putting in the intention of doing it. That's that's really what matters the most. Uh, but I feel like, you know, for those of you that take the time to med meditate, I feel like you're able to see and understand things in your life a little more clearly so that you can release those, those energies that are limiting energies, maybe holding you up in some way. All right, Sagittarius, coming in next, we have awaiting results. So this is equivalent to the Seven of Pentacles. Again, looking at the growth, right? Looking at the growth here on the figure. He, I mean, he's done the work, right? It's represented by all of the growth that's taking place here. So it's letting us know, Sagittarius, you've done the work, right? You've invested the energy. Uh, and now you, many of you, you're waiting around for whatever this, this energy is that you've been trying to, uh, to manifest in your life. For some of you, it could be, it could be this connection, this love. All right, Sagittarius, coming in next, we have the Two of Wands. Spread your wings, right? So this is a call to action. This is about, you know, heading upwards, right? Elevating yourself, coming in right underneath the lover's card. It's the number two, right? So it may be two of you that are elevating, right? You may be stepping into, you know, this journey together. Okay, beautiful. Sagittarius, next energy coming in for you comes to us as dreams coming true. Uh, this is equivalent to the Nine of Cups. 
So this is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. So beautiful energy. Again, that's coming in underneath Blossom, right? So when we're able to release ourselves from opinions and judgments, right? A lot of those limiting energies, right? Now you're you're moving towards, you're creating this energy within you, right? The, the ball of energy, and it's taking you towards manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. So Sagittarius, let's get some clarification now. And I'm gonna use my Crystal Vision Tarot set as the clarifiers. But just give me a minute. I want to take a look at these energies and kind of begin to see and feel what's going on for you here. Uh, so, you know, the central theme and energy showing up in your reading comes to us as love, right? So this is about this is about a connection in your life. Whether it's romantic or not, it's a meaningful connection because it's coming in right underneath the heart chakra. So at the end of the day, sad share, I feel like you love this person, right? And I feel like this person loves you. <clears throat> then we have just breathe, which is about you know taking time out, taking time out to you know to rest, to recuperate, to balance yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And we have meditation coming in. Seek, you know, some of you may be attached to to a Virgo. But what is it? What is it that you're? You know, why is this energy so important for you, Sagittarius? Right? Why is it important to take time out from the world? To maybe seek a little bit of solitude and keep in mind. Sagittarius, right? It doesn't do us really any good to seek solitude from others, seek that quiet space, if we have a lot of noise and chatter in our minds, right? So we can go into that, that space, trying to create a sacred space, but our minds are filled with so many racing thoughts and such, it can be a little bit self-defeating. So this is about letting go of that so that you're able to see what you're unable to see at the moment. And I feel like once you're able to see whatever this is, right, that, that you're wanting to see, right, now you're able to release yourself of opinions and judgments. So you're now you're building up some positive energy in your life. Um, and here you are waiting, right, waiting for this manifestation to come in. You're waiting, awaiting the results, right, the results from you investing your energy. Whatever's coming in, right, is taking you upwards. And here we have the number two. So it may be yourself and another person. Uh, she's only going upwards, right? She's being elevated. Notice how, notice her posture. You know, she's holding out her arms. You know, she really, she isn't attached to anything, but she's open to everything, right? She's holding out her arms like, you know, she's letting the universe out. No, I'm, I'm open to receive. I'm open to receive these energies that I'm waiting for, right? Whatever the universe has in mind to bring into your life. But I feel like Sagittarius, I feel like it's these are great energies coming in for you, right? Because here we have dreams coming true, coming out next. So, you know, this little elevator, if you will, that you're on, I feel like, you know, it's, it's a great elevator for you to be on. Okay, let's get some clarification now. Uh, Sagittarius, the first energy that I want to get some clarification on was the first card that came out. Coming to us as love, right? The lover's card. Let's see if we can find out a little bit more about that energy. Tell us about love for Sagittarius. Tell us about love for Sagittarius. Okay, I know this card's wanting to come out because it's tried to come out. So here we have the energy of the Eight of Wands. Uh, beautiful energy. So this represents speed and movement, right? We're looking at these eight unicorns. They're charging down this mountain, right? Coming in and they're coming in quickly. So it's representing, you know, the speed and the movement that's connected to this to this relationship. It's that sure you're probably excited to hear that it's coming in quickly, right? Where many of you have been waiting for this, you know, waiting for this connection. All right, tell us about love for Sagittarius.
All right, Sagittarius, coming in next, here we have the Four of Wands. All right, so Four of Wands is a beautiful energy. This is about a commitment, right? This is about, this can represent romantic love, right? Connection for some, this could represent marriage. Uh, but it's commitment. Uh, if you're, if it's regarding a relationship, a romantic relationship in your life, you know this could be stepping up. You know, uh, having the conversation where you're having the conversation of exclusivity, right? Making that commitment to one another. It's 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 a contractual kind of energy. Uh, so for those of you that aren't resonating right with the romance of romance and love energy, right? This is about another connection in your life, uh, whether it's a family member. Uh, or whether it's just a meaningful friendship, or it could be a work relationship as well. All right, Sagittarius, tell us more about Just Breathe. All right. Okay, Sagittarius. So we have two energies here. Here's what we're, here's the energy we're getting the clarification on. I just love tarot. I do. Uh, I have some amazing spirit guides that I work with. So Sagittarius, here we have two energies coming out to clarify. Just breathe, right? So just breathe. This is about it's about taking time out. It's about taking your taking your foot off the gas pedal. Attached to this energy, we have the Ten of Cups, right? So the Ten of Cups. This is about connection. This is about completion in a relationship dynamic, right? So it can represent marriage, you know, the coming together of, of two people, right? You may be merging families together. Attached to it is the three of wands, right? So what are, what are we being encouraged, Sagittarius, right? Why are we being encouraged to take our foot off the gas, right? Taking our, encouraged to take our foot off the gas is we're trying to see what the journey ahead looks like, just like the figure on this card. She's looking at the journey that lies ahead of her, and she pulls out a crystal ball and holds it up to the sun to see if she can get a better idea of what this journey looks like. So Sagittarius, you know, it, a lot of times this energy, this can bring up anxiety, right? When, you know, and I feel like that is the case for some of you, just if you've been waiting for this connection to come in, maybe taking on the energies of anxiety, like, is it ever going to happen? You're being encouraged, Sagittarius, right? Take your foot off the gas, just allow. The journey's coming, um, it's coming to you. Tell us about the heart chakra for Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, energies that came out to clarify your heart chakra energy. Here we have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups connected to your heart, right? Connected to the things that you love. Uh, so Six of Cups can represent somebody from your past, right? Maybe coming back. This is about us. This can represent the energy of a, of a past connection. And what's connected to this energy is the Nine of Swords, right? So it's fear. You know, this can also represent the energy of a, of a younger time, an earlier time in your life of going back to those energies. You know, going back to being younger and falling in love again. Nine of Swords is a limiting energy. It represents the energy of fear. It's an elevated sense of fear. We have nine swords in the ground, or eight swords in the ground. The ninth sword is right here. This bird, this raven, is waiting for her to pick up the sword and to stick it in the ground, right? Allow the, allowing this energy to, to complete. So I can see exactly you know why it's coming out on the heart chakra, because any time the chakra energy show up in a tarot reading, I feel like they're showing up because there could be a blockage there for you. So I want to read to you real quickly, Sagittarius, how to open up this, this chakra for you. So that for those of you that have the, the blockage on your heart chakra, you can free up these energies, right? And it's an important energy for you because this is about love and connection. So we're overcoming the energies of fear. Okay, parallel to the heart, the heart chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between mind, body, and soul. To activate this chakra, take a moment to send from your heart loving, healing energy in the form of blue and green waves. Blue for peace, green for healing. Send this to everyone and everything unconditionally. The love will be returned to you for your own healing. <clears throat> okay, Sagittarius. So I have quite a bit of experience with that energy, with that specific heart chakra, because I find myself many times going into meditations 
where I'm taking on, where I'm sending out those, those I'm visualizing, right? The blue and green waves of energy that I'm sending out from my heart. I'm sending out energies of unconditional love. A lot of times I send them out to specific individuals in my life as well as healing energies. And other times I send it out to the collective, right? But by sending that love out, like, you know, universe, what do I have to share? What do I have to give? I'm not doing anything else, so what, let me give my love to the world. I feel like that's just an energy that, that serves you very well, Sagittarius. All right, tell us about Seek. Tell us about Seek for Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, Oops, that was upside down. Coming in next, we have the Five of Pentacles, right? It's a, it's a limiting energy. Right next to the Five of Pentacles, we have the Temperance card. So this is representing your energy, Sagittarius energy right here. So we see you going into, going into meditation, right? Stepping away from the chaos and the noises of the world. And, and, and more than anything, right? Stepping away from the noise and the opinions and judgments in your mind. So you're taking time to medicate, meditate, to medicate. That's funny. You're taking time to meditate in order to overcome this energy of, of loss, right? Of limitation. It represents the energy of, of you know, the wounded warrior, of feeling like you were, you were left out in the cold, right? Some of you may have felt like you've been left out in the cold. That's why you're awaiting results, right? Maybe some of you have been waiting for some time now. And then attached to it, we have the temperance card. So your energy, this is about divine timing, right? So letting go of the energies of it hasn't happened for me. I, you know, I'm feeling like I'm left out in the cold. They've forgotten about me. You're being reminded, Sagittarius, that everything is taking place in divine timing, right? So when does this connection show up, right? When does, when does love come into your life? It comes into your life when you're ready for it, right? When there's balanced energy. She has a foot in the water and a foot on dry land. Water represents our emotions and feelings. The dry land represents our presence on earth, right? So here we have her pouring a cup of water into a cup of fire, um, a chalice of fire. Water, emotions, feelings, fire is action, right? It's our drive, it's our energy. So the balance of these energies, that's exactly what brings about divine timing for you, Sagittarius. All right, tell us about refusing to see for Sagittarius. Tell us about refusing to see. Okay. All right, so Sagittarius. Interesting, right? With refusing to see, I felt like there was a connection between that and the and the, the Virgo energy of the hermit energy and here it is coming out again right so refusing to see what you're being encouraged to do right a second time you're reading is to to step away from the world right step away from opinions and judgments step away from the chaos of the world uh, and that's what's going to open you up so that you're able to now see what hasn't what you haven't been able to see so far and coming in attached to that we have the page of swords so Page of Swords can represent communication, right? Air sign energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. If so, it'd be a younger energy, right? So I feel like this is this is this is representing the energy of, of a thought, right? This is this is a thought coming into you. It's a, and it's bringing you. It's a sword, right? So it's bringing you a truth. It's communicating a truth to you, uh, and this truth comes to you, Sagittarius, right? When you're able to check out, if you will, step away from the chaos, the noises, the distractions of the world, right? Free your mind. When you're able to free up your mind, then that truth comes in for you. All right, tell us about Blossom for Sagittarius. Tell us about Blossom. us about Blossom for Sagittarius.
Okay, Sagittarius. So coming in, clarifying the energy of Blossom, which is representative of the Judgment card, right? Letting go of the Judgments. Here we have Three of Swords. Attached to it is the Star card, right? So the Three of Swords represents sadness, grief, right? Heartbreak, loss. Three swords that are impelled in our heart, and there may be some significance for some of you with the number three, right? But this is what we're what we're re, we are releasing, what we're letting go of. Attach this as a star card. So some of you may have been connected to an Aquarius, right? May have been an Aquarius that broke your heart. Um, but this is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams, right? So I feel like when this happened for you, Sagittarius. You probably took on those energies of feeling like, oh my God, I've, I've disconnected myself. I was feeling like I was manifesting all of my hopes and dreams, you know. So, th so this is what you're. This is these are the energies that you're releasing, that you're letting go of, right? You're letting go of the energies of past letdown, disappointment, sadness, and grief. What's the best way to do this, Sagittarius? Forgiveness. Truly, it is. You know, Sagittarius, if you can find it in within your heart, right, to forgive the other person. Um, and forgiveness comes, we don't have to agree with what took place, right? But coming to a place of understanding, of acceptance, you know, uh, I heard a great quote that I feel like rings true here, Sagittarius, right? And it's not the snake bite that kills us. It's the venom that flows through the veins afterwards, right? So it wasn't, it's not the action of whatever took place here, whether you're the one that caused it or it was, it was brought to you. I feel like for many of you, it was brought to you. Um, that's the bite, right? But it's 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 the it's the resentment, right? It, that poisons of us afterwards, right? So if we can come to a place of understanding and forgiveness, realizing that we're all part of this play, we're all just doing our very best, give the person the benefit of the doubt. Sagittarius, free yourself up from these energies, these limiting energies that are holding you back. So that you can now build energies, right? You're building energies because you're building energies for this for this relationship, for this this connection to come in. All right, loving your reading, Sagittarius. Tell us about awaiting results. Tell us about awaiting results. Okay, all right, Sagittarius, we have two energies for you here, clarifying, awaiting results. That's the Seven of Pentacles. Um, yeah, and I feel like some of you, yeah, you probably have felt like that. I've been waiting around for quite some time, you know, and maybe feeling a little bit lost and a little, little bit confused, you know, with the moon card showing up here, you know, yeah, it's coming in and underneath refusing to see. So the moon card represents that very energy. It's Pisces energy. So it's representing, you know, the things in our life that we're unable to see, right? What's connected to this is the two of wands, right? So this is the call of back. This is the journey moving ahead, uh, coming in right next to the two of wands, right? So two of wands showing up twice. I feel like many of you, you are. You're stepping into this journey with another person. You've been waiting for this journey to come to you for quite some time. Great news, Sagittarius, is it's for many of you, it's coming. All right, tell us about spread your wings for Sagittarius. Tell us about spread your wings. Okay, coming in next here we have the Knight of Cups. So knights always show up, right? What is it? Cups are about emotions, romance, love. This is representing the energy of your knight in shining armor, right? So your knight in shining armor, he's in route, right? On his path towards you. So the universe bringing you this connection, bringing you this love. Tell us more about spread your wings.
Okay. All right. I felt like, you know, with Spread Your Wings, that many of you would be stepping into this journey with another person. Here we see it, right? The Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. This is about connecting with another person, right? For many of you, this can represent the energy of working together, right? Whether you're, you're, you're working together, like literally to, to earn money, right? Or you're working together within the home. And I say that because we have the Ten of Cups coming here, right? So many of you, you know, you're going to be coming together in union, right? Maybe even merging families. Okay, Sagittarius, tell us about dreams coming true. Wow, we just got the Nine of Cups to clarify the Nine of Cups. Okay. All right, so we're clarifying dreams coming true. And here we have dream, Nine of Cups showing up again, which again, this is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. Attached to this is the hanged man energy, right? So it's representing your energy. This is rep this is you, right? Hanging suspended by your ankles. You're wearing a blindfold over your eyes. You're, you've been waiting, right? Waiting for this dream, for these, this connection to come into your life. So here we see it coming in. And this is gonna give you the chance, Sagittarius, right? To climb down off of the tree and step out of hanged man position. You know, hangman position represents that energy of, of you know, being in limbo, waiting around. Um, all right, Sagittarius, I love your tarot reading. You guys have a beautiful reading today. I feel like the messages were clear, right? And I feel like the energies, they all kind of incorporated into each other and ran together. And this is a great story for some of you. Um, I hope that these energies resonate with you. Sagittarius, I want to share a quote with you before we wrap this up. It's a quote that I came across last night. It's about courage. And I think it may have been given by Theodore Roosevelt. But it says, It's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done it differently. The credit belongs to the person who's actually in the arena, in the arena whose face is marred with dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly who, who, sorry, I try to read my own writing, who comes up short again and again and again, and who in the end, while he may not have the triumph of high achievement, at least when he fails, he does so daringly. I don't know, Sagittarius, I love that quote. Uh, love that quote on courage, right? What is life about? It's about, <coughs> excuse me, each and every one of us. Taking it upon ourselves, right? To find that, that that energy of vulnerability within us, right? So a lot of times to get it to step into a relationship, we need to be vulnerable. We need to open ourselves up, right? Open ourselves up to trusting, you know, trusting, believing in love, trusting in in, in the other person. Uh, so, you know, the en energy of courage really resonates strong with me right now. But thank you for letting me share that that quote with you. Sagittarius, thank you for all the beautiful love, the likes, subscribes, the comments that you leave. Um, I read all of them. You guys lift me. You inspire me. So I can't thank you enough. You have a beautiful reading for the month of October. I hope it resonates with all of you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe. If you know a Sagittarius that these energies will resonate with them, feel free to send it. Or if you know anybody where this is their story, I'm picking up on their energy, feel free to share it with them. I love it when you guys do that. Okay, Sagittarius, you're off to an exciting October. Wishing you all the very best. Thanks again for letting me share.